Hello, everybody, and welcome to Benjamin Magnus and Friends Play Stellaris. We left off last episode with Bob breeding mutants from beyond the grave. No, I didn't. Br I didn't breed them. Okay, some other alien asshole from years ago decided to stick the machine on the planet. Okay, I just turned it on. <laughs> I just hit the button. It's not my fault. I swear. It's not my fault. The machine did what it did. You can't, you can't blame me. I'm just a button masher. Hey, what does this do? <laughs> Who cannot push a button? I mean, really. So, buttons are fun. So there. Who the fuck is this? Who the fuck are you? Please don't die in the middle of sciencing. I need your five stars. Oh, you shitbag. Research complete. <laughs> Somebody here, too? Well, you better not be. So I didn't say this on the recording, but, uh... But I am now orbital bombardment. I now have an orbital bombardment going over this primitive society while I'm observing them. And I'm still getting research, so... I am sure indeed... Is. I'm indeed observing the effects of society, or the observing the effects on society from an, a prolonged bombardment from space. Mm -hmm. Oops. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. I don't like their chances. <laughs> see, I thought you would be really stoked about their chances because their chances would be like zero. <laughs> uh... <laughs> well, the observation team, they've given like they've given some of their subjects like little names. <laughs> you know, they're almost they're almost like pets. Construction complete. They make great pets. No kids. They make great pets. What? Oh, you're on a guess. Upgrade the farbs. Up oh, failed again. Build more science. Daddy's so far behind. All right. Um, what else can I build? Shit. There. No, there. You do the thing. This is kind of a tedious process to actually get all the attachments onto the armies, like, one at a time like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wish there was, like, a default. Like, you can make a default template. That would be just, just ideal. Just build, build all assault armies with this. Build all defense yeah. armies with this, or something like that. Or even just, like, make your own. Like, say, like, this is an assault army, it gets this attachment, etc. And then you can, like, have, like, a choice between those uh, profiles. Though I would say it would be great if they kind of deepened the ground game a little bit. Yeah, like, right now it's basically they can keep just, it the yeah. same, just give you more control over your military. Like if you could have multiple attachments, or mm -hmm. they were more specialized. Like instead of just having assault troops, you could have like infantry, or you could have orbital drop troops, or etc. And they all have their own kind of benefits and stuff. Right now, all my my the entirety of all my ground forces are getting outfitted on Magnus Prime, the slave planet, <laughs> in the midst of this this horror. That's, no, no, that, that's been solved. That was Castor Prime, which is now being renamed to Castor Secundus. <laughs> Secundus, why does that sound familiar? You could just you could just it's name it Castor for a second, as I understand it. Um, yeah, do that. And that. Science it up, bitches. So much science, such wow. What I'm, I'm trying to do is lots of science related things so I can get the good science. My fleet is, per is, 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 is it's, <laughs> they're just, 
They're they're it's a defensive, it's a police, it's a police thing. Just to keep the border safe. Construction complete. Everybody gets hunter roaches. killer roads. Although it looks like the roaches finally, you know, hit a brick wall. Although they might just start killing those people, so it might just be mean? a soft wall. Hmm? What do you mean? To the south. You've started finally started running into other people. That's a That's a an enemy contact that has a skull on it. <laughs> my my. Ah, well, that's not good. Is it a dimensional horror? It's a wraith. What the hell is that? I don't know. <laughs> but we're gonna kill it. You should go poke it with a stick. I'm sure Let's it'll be kill fine. It. <laughs> you see, Ben, I'm currently researching multiple habitation uh, researches that will allow me to potentially settle quite a few more worlds. The well, roaches... Your, your, your roaches your, will not be stopped. Your roaches are all about just breeding and consuming. Yeah, I think we're currently at... Uh, what is it at? We are the second most populous in the galaxy. Shocking. <laughs> it's almost like that's how you built your race to be. Who's the most populous? Yep. Uh, it's... Uh, no, hold on. I just closed the tab. The uh, last time I looked, it was like the Bella where is Cosa. that tab anyway? Yeah, Bella Macosa. Oh, you uh, the drop down on the moor, and then it's species. There we go. And then you go there. It's yeah, it's the the Bella Cosa, which are. Uh, oh yeah, they're they my are. they're my buddies. Yeah, they're they're the people who have been uh, migrating freely into my my territory. And oh, so th oh, they just it's just because they have open migration treaties. That's why I was going, I was going like it must be a really big fucking empire for them to have that many. No, 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 they're they're. <laughs> I I got a bunch of them in my territory. They breed rather quickly, and they like to move. They like to live in various places. So, I have no problem they with like them coming into their my Arctic my, preference. But they're adaptive, so they get yep. plus ten habitability. So that's yep. why. Exactly. That's why they can come into my land. See, I can just overcome some of the negative effects of less than optimal. To uh, just muscle through it. Well, because it's because I have communal, so they get a plus ten happiness as long as there's multiple ones there. Hmm. Now why don't we figure out what the rest of the tile blockers? That'll be good. Good. Hmm. Inefficient planet management. Your planets are inefficient. <laughs> Error happiness minus five percent presented five times over non sequitur. Cannot feel happiness. <laughs> These uh, robot pops are like, we're unhappy, but we're not actually unhappy. We just want to say we're unhappy. Mm -hmm. We want to be included. They're working See, side I, by what, side what with the slaves, so I mean... What I'm fighting tends to work is I just tell uh, robots to go colonize planets, and then the Bellicosa people just come over and flood in, flood in and start working. <laughs> we don't want those robots to take our jobs. I mean, they're they're perfectly happy working within my borders. They're like a, a migrant species. They, they, they're not allowed to be in. They're not allowed to be in charge of anything. But I mean, they pay their taxes they're, and they're migrant workers. Yeah, <laughs> they they harvest they're our avocados. Incoming <laughs> transmission. Construction complete. Did I research something for my ships? I don't remember. Colony established. Who wants to transmit? Research agreement from the Kingdom complete. of Rosa. Good people, I hear. Good people. Colony Here they have some issues with uh, with mutant horrors from beyond, but good people. Ah, yes. Mutant horrors from beyond. We have dismissed these claims. 
not a thing. What are you talking about? <laughs> we dealt with You, that. sir, are a liar. I challenge you to a duel. Let me go get my mutant hand to slap you with. <laughs> uh, right, let's do that. I love that there's uh, an area called the Dark Hope Nebula. With nothing in it. I actually dislike the nebula I have in my south. Because the, the damn thing's so bright. It's hard to see the star lines between the stars, so I don't know. Uh, I don't know Arium, how things... Arium Nebula? Yeah, little bastard's too bright. Well, it looks like the Wraith is leaving me. It, it might actually go and fight the Enigmatic That's Fortress. Complete. The other... The, the, the other, other strength issue. of death. Alright, so... Let's do this. Problems? We don't have problems. So, this planet? We need a new governor. Build cost. Precursor discovery. All right, first things first, you people who have been uplifted, upgrade everything on your planet. Happiness fifty seven percent, you'll live with it. For how do how does Stone Age people uh have so many industrial slums? They found them. <laughs> it's just it's just a whole bunch of like broken wheels like on their side. <laughs> it's like burnt out fires. Piles of bones. <laughs> So now I need a new thingy. Fire marker, just dry it up. We didn't, we didn't know what to do. So I need Starfish people, stop trying to get with me. It's not going to happen. Oh, I need to. I'm just not that into you. And you guys can have that stuff to work with. God, yeah, no, the Bellicose the Bellicosa conglomerate are just entering into these migration treaties. Yeah, they uh th that's the old that's the first thing they did with me was was migration. Can we live there? <laughs> <laughs> well, they want to live on these planets real good, so it's fine with me. <laughs> Can we live there? Do you have food? <laughs> Alright. Oh, can't. I'm, I'm, I'm out of leaders. We're just going to build some art monuments in some of these places here is what we're going to do, and that way people will just be happier. Hmm. Standard practice for a new colony in the Rochkin Quarantine Administration is to build a a monument to purity. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's really there. Uh, where's my science doodle? Okay, science doodle the shit out of that thing. Dearest science doodle. Do you even doodle? Alright. To doodle or not to doodle? That is the question. Research complete. Oh, Do they stop? Do they stop hating me? Do they love me now? Planets and sectors. Uh -huh. You care. Advantage. You get another planet because I don't know how anything to do with it. Too many planets. How's this extermination going? I don't exterminate people. We bring you love. It seems like a, a cruel thing to do is exterminating races. No, it's all right because you're the one who wanted me to do it. <laughs> I didn't want to go to this on. It's all your fault. They're dying for you. <laughs> they died for your sins. <laughs> We're just piping. We're just piping video images of this <laughs> over my... the border to your. 
One of my leaders just became a uh, a substance abuser. <laughs> I had one series I did in this where almost every single one of my leaders was like addicted to crack. Dear every me. single leader I had elected was just like addicted, 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 addicted. Yeah, why not? Go into the endangered species preserve. What are you doing to your endangered species? Oh, or did they? Did the uh, finally the asked? Finally asked, Mister. I'm I'm too good to be an endangered species. I'm not too good to understand that they're they're fucking strong. Corvettes, you need an upgrade. <laughs> Is it clean there? The preserve. <laughs> Well, they said they were special in making it, so I'm assuming yes. So you, you could assume that they that they would make sure that it was nice and clean. Hmm. Can't terraform your dumbass. Oh, needs more power. Mm -hmm. All right, power. Who's there? You need more power too. Everybody needs more power. Everybody here in the armies needs more shields and stuff. I got a spare auxiliary doodle. God. In case that first doodle goes down, we got the auxiliary. Mm -hmm. Anything not built anywhere? Uh, you guys need to build over here still. Yes, yes. How are the power fobs coming along at Magnus Prime? Very good. <laughs> very good. Have you rebuilt the, the Death World yet? I, I recolonized it. That was, that was the Sector World is what that was. So it's kind of on its own. But so, you need to... They don't figure it out. They'll be fine. Construction complete. Oh, great. Tomb World habitability. Plus 40%. Tomb World, I love it. I had three, or two or three of them. Yeah, I had two of them. I have one somewhere where that, that, that planet that nuked themselves, but I don't know where it is. Construction complete. <laughs> I just noticed that the malcontent slave faction. <laughs> the leader of it has adopted my like naming Research convention. Complete. Really? So <laughs> it's like good to contain a Toby. <laughs> <laughs> They're adapting. <laughs> They're right, confirming guys. to the What's your person? name? Good to contain. <laughs> wow. Oh, wait, what, <laughs> what, is, what is what is the name that they that they give? Is it Toby? Did you yes, ever see Toby. Roots? Yeah, it's Toby, right? Yeah, yeah it's, it's Toby. Toby. <laughs> oh, sweet mother of God. Despotic Space Empire only has one slave type. I wonder if it would be mad if I enslaved him. I don't know. Dude, would he be all able to say anything? Race or just like half the pop? I mean, I could integrate him as a subject and then I could enslave him is what I could do. It's like, <laughs> I mean, it's just taking it a step further with the whole slave sex thing, right? Or sex slave thing, right? Because he, he'd be in service to me. These butterflies serving the flowers. <laughs> Some real good flapping you got there. Construction complete. His wings are very delicate. It's like that one race from Enterprise that requires a third, uh, a third person for, for, uh, Conception uh, or third gender. Yep. Well, there's just a, is, is that the there's one that's um. They like make up only like three percent of their population, or something like that. Yeah, so they're like in demand. Is that the one? Is that the same one or a different one where Riker wants tries to bang the uh, the species that like has no gender? That's got to be a different one. That's, that's a, different a different one because I was talking about Enterprise. That's a lot of different ones where he tries to bang yeah. something. Well, there's a good <laughs> meme about that where it's it's, it's like uh, it's like Riker, asexual no. race. That sounds like a wager, and it's Riker smiling or something like that. <laughs> so 
Riker, no. Riker, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Active <laughs> sensor link. Krillian Holy Principality. What do I feel about you, first off? <laughs> Who are you? How do I feel about you? Well, you shouldn't you shouldn't be uh Oh uh, sure, we can do this. Not manage planet tiles, but your managing is so bad. Kinda wanna join this federation over here. But you won't let me because just cause Obevni United <laughs> Sons is dumb. So you guys are kind of civilization atomic age. Ooh my. You guys are all sorts of See, I'm 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 at this point I'm kind of disappointed with these atomics, uh, these atomic age people that I've been shooting at because they haven't shot back yet. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. They have atomic weapons. Well, they might not have an ICBM or delivery system capable of getting the nuke at you, you know. Yeah, we had. It was quite a while between when we developed nukes and between and when we developed a nuke that can hit something in space. Well, there's only one pop of them left, so. You know, I'm gonna infiltrate the shit out. You're atomic. I'm gonna infiltrate you. <laughs> one, one left of the original seven or eight that were on this planet. But well, it's... it's definitely definitely harder to produce ICBMs when uh, you know you're being bombarded relentlessly. Yeah, I would imagine. How about an antimatter reactor? That's well, that's why we're doing this research. We have to know this. <laughs> so I'm my, my I'm currently <laughs> I'm like the Asgard Loki. <laughs> Seventy-one percent fungaloid, nine percent uh, droid, eleven percent Bella Macosa, and six percent uh, Larungu, which is the one I uplifted. Where do you uh, where do you see that at? There's, oh, demographics. Demographics. Rochkin, ninety percent. Robot, nine percent. You just got you just got robots, and that's it. Are you okay with robots? Yeah, we're all right with them. I mean, we haven't researched droids yet because I'm not an idiot. No, oh, I already I did that ages ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my statement still stands. <laughs> I see no issue. See, absolutely no problem. So I got four precursor things done. Uh, that's the first time I've gotten that far. Four of six. What happens when you get to six? And then anybody know what happens when you finish the precursor thing? I don't remember. Hey, Penelope. Very good foot warmer. Dog just came over, went under my desk, and lay down on my feet. Hmm. Art pieces for everybody. Woo! So many of them. 200 roach pops. It's about to be more. I'm, I'm just now colonizing two uh, extra planets. That'll happen. Two tomb worlds. Rivals were declared. All right. Every time I look at uh, Nibs's uh, space alien now in in Solaris, I can't help but add the face to it now that <laughs> Megan did the the art. Yeah. <laughs> Nightmare fuel, I tell you. It gets even worse when you start thinking about it, like. Think it looks exactly like that. Moves how you think it would move, but it talks like him. <laughs> but, it, but in a whisper. <laughs> hey, everybody! <laughs> oh God! Make a stop. <laughs> I'm researching. Call it a statue like mm. open borders. Yes. <laughs> Oh my. It looks like you have a very succulent head. <laughs> like the little, little mouth comes out. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. My, my mouth opens and a smaller head pops out. 
<laughs> oh, tiny nose. That's what she oh. should have drawn. Come <laughs> closer. Mouth open and a tiny little nems coming out. Yeah. Come here so I can have a taste. Hey, sweetie. What, what's up? All right. Well, there goes that atomic age civilization. We can get rid of that. Oh, wait a second. Kill someone else. I found a glitch. I found a glitch. Okay. okay. Observation post is still giving me research. Even though they're all dead. Even though they're all dead. Research complete. <laughs> this is great. Well, that's that's six that's free so society good. tech forever. Hmm. I need I need, I, need uh, I don't have a sector governor. Hmm. I need a governor. I think I'm out of thingies. No, not thingies. Uh, build spaceports. Those are things we need. Nope, not a colony ship. Speaking of, about solar panels. Anything else after that, apparently. Okay, so you you need those things. So I'll just give some to you, so you can live. Oh yeah, defense class. The power fobs of Tatooine are running at full capacity. Setting. You can do that. You can do that. Good. 211 pops now. And slowly growing. Roach is getting larger. <laughs> More numerous and belligerent. If, yeah. If you have if you don't have you don't share a border with him, he's pretty belligerent. It's a, it's an issue. Problem. <laughs> I like how there is, in fact, this this curve. I don't know if it's by design, but it's, there's this curve of the border with like the uh, the fallen empire right there. It's just like, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't no, don't touch me, don't touch me. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. It's by design, mostly just because I don't want to piss them off. I still need to learn about cruisers, damn it. You don't have uh, cruisers yet? No. I have those for ages. I have battleships. Research I had the tech come up once, but it was a long time ago, and uh hasn't come up since. Hmm. Malcontent slaves, why? You should just be happy you're slaves and not, you know, dead. <laughs> Just be happy I haven't killed you yet. And why don't we just go ahead and clear all this shit out? <laughs> I love the faction names. Like, I have a lot of really, like, uh, kind of hostile ones, like the Secessionist Brigade and Independence Resistance uh, and the, uh, the Popular Insurgents and Liberation Rebels. Uh, but then one of them is just the Freedom Committee. <laughs> the Freedom Committee. <laughs> yes, give me a better warp drive. No, malcontent slaves again. <laughs> Repair the shit they broke. Okay. What do we got coming? Nothing anytime soon. Alright. Let's see here. So, your, Bob, your entire fleet is destroyers and cruisers? Destroyers and frigates. Or destroyers and frigates, yeah. Interesting. Corvettes. Destroyers um, and You cruisers. might want to keep an eye on Roach, Bob. He just said interesting. <laughs> interesting. Well, I'm thinking because he has cruisers that he's like, oh, Bob's right for the plucking. God, this, uh, I, I managed to integrate the the Stone Age people a lot easier than the Atomic Age people. <laughs> like, yeah, of course you have. <laughs> the Atomic Age people, are like they they've had a society for thousands of years. <laughs> they just these people come in and just like it's like yeah, you we own you now. But the no, just, uh, the other people are like wheel. I'm, I'm your god. Wheel. <laughs> wheel. 
<laughs> we push wheel. These people are pretty happy in my. I don't have any rebel factions. It's interesting. Ugh. So well, I have them because I gave up population to that uh, to that race. It's just such a nice place to be. Wait, why are you? Oh. Yes, I remember now. Now I remember. <laughs> so, this place needs stuff to make people happy, like a frontier Situation clinic. log updated. Build Damn a farm. You. And then people will come in and they'll be happy. Theoretically. Yes, the Xeno Zoo. Let's build a Xeno Zoo. I like that. I like the sound of that. That sounds fun. We, we, we heard that someone else is doing something similar, so we should do something like that, too. <laughs> just go around and ask, like, these alien races, hey, we got, like, this zoo. You want to come be, like, an exhibit in there? That would be a good thing. I'll put the Zoom, the, the people of Zoom in there, and as well as uh, these bird people that I enslaved. <laughs> It'll be fine too. They'll have a little like shirt water dispenser <laughs> and a lot of room to fly. It'll be great, but we're out of time. Oh, we are. Who was it this time? It was Ben. It was Ben. Okay, so thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have enjoyed this, and check out the other perspectives from the other uh, from the other channels, like. Uh, like Roach bassing on the border to go take out Bob because he doesn't own cruisers. That could be a thing. <laughs> well, it's time. We don't have a border. Hmm. Yeah, I have to call that there.